Hey everyone, welcome to the webinar, Transform Your Video Shopping Ads with Catalog Enrichment. My name is Mikkel, I'm the VP of Growth at Shaker. And along with me today, I have Paul, our Director of Customer Success. And together we will share our insights and best practices on getting the most out of your video shopping ad campaigns. Morning, Paul, how's it going? Morning, Mikkel. Really excited to be here today to talk about BSA. Perfect, so let's get started. So today's agenda, firstly, what are TikTok shopping ads? Uh, then the three forms of shopping ads, which are video shopping ads, uh, or VSA for short, catalog listing ads, uh, and live shopping ads. Next up, how to set up video shopping ads for catalog, where, where I will go through the campaign setup in the TikTok ads manager and the performance levers you can pull in order to get the most out of your campaigns. And finally, Paul will share how you can transform your catalog ads with Shaker by following TikTok creative best practices and using Shaker catalog enrichment. So before I jump into the presentation, a brief introduction to Shaker. Uh, Shaker is the creative hub for ROI-driven marketing teams, and we help brands boost their campaign performance with better, faster, and more cost-efficient creatives at scale. And we do that by fulfilling all creative needs in one central hub where we offer creative services optimized for performance. Uh, we turn those customer creatives into templates uh, so you can produce fresh creative iterations on the fly. And our creative automation solutions enable you to scale creative production beyond human limitations. And all of these three pillars are foundations for enabling e-commerce businesses to succeed with video shopping ads. And if you ever consider working with Shaker, rest assured that you're in good company. Uh, we worked with some of the largest advertisers on the planet. Uh, here you can just see a few of them. Additionally, you will also have the fortunate uh, opportunity to work directly with Paul, uh, who is involved in the planning and activation of VSA campaigns for most of our clients. And to show that you, we, we know what you're... To show that we know what we're talking about, uh, this is a mini case study for the Brazilian retailer Magalu, uh, and we helped Magalu increase uh, their return on ad spend by 302% with our catalog enrichment solution. Now let's look at shopping ads. In short, TikTok shopping ads is an umbrella term for TikTok's new suite of advertising solutions for brands who want to leverage TikTok to drive more sales. Uh, and currently, there are three ad formats under the TikTok shopping ads umbrella. Uh, they are video shopping ads, uh, catalog listing ads, and live shopping ads. And the promise of TikTok shopping ads is to help advertisers keeping up with emerging trends, uh, solving for signal loss, managing large catalogs, and avoiding ad fatigue. So the first shopping ad format is video shopping ads. Uh, in in TikTok's own words, so video shopping ads enable you to place hyper-relevant shoppable videos across the For You, uh, for you feed. Uh, and this uh, is an example of a video shopping ad. And the example you can see is a single video ad where you can see that the CTA here is a shopping cart. And when you click on it, you will see the, the product and you can go and add that to your bag. Uh, so... When you set up shopping ads in your ad account, you can choose between using a single video, which is uh, the one you could see here. This is just a single video, uh, and then you have the relevant product down here. But you can also set up uh, unique videos for each and every individual SKU in your catalog. And that's something Paul will share uh, how to do later on. And I will also show you where to choose the individual video uh, for each product in the catalog when you're setting up your campaign in the ads manager. Uh, second format is catalog listing ads. Uh, so catalog, catalog listing ads is, uh, is enabling you to promote your product catalog at scale with new placements across TikTok. And it doesn't require you to have any video assets. Uh, but what happens is that if you're scrolling through the For You feed, you will see this kind of shopping with TikTok. And then these individual listings are ads. So instead of video ads, there's individual listings. And if you click on one of the listing, listed items, you, you go to that specific uh, brand's uh, product, like the rollerblades, and you can add it to the bag. Uh, so again, here, uh, it's like one shop for TikTok, and each product here can be from an individual company's catalog listing. Uh, the third format is live shopping ads. Uh, so this gives you the 
opportunity to drive engagement from the For You page to a live moment and show your products to shoppers who are more likely to buy. Uh, so this here is a live uh, brand's live shopping uh, video. And then you promote your uh, products down here. And if someone clicks on it, they, they get additional uh, products that they can browse and buy directly from, uh, from the live feed. So now throughout the rest of the webinar, we are focusing on the first shopping ads format, which is video shopping ads, VSA. Uh, and we're particularly looking into video shopping ads for catalog. And I'll take you through how you can set up a VSA for catalog campaign through the ads manager. So before you can even start running video shopping ads for catalog, you need a catalog. Uh, and the five steps to get started are one, create a catalog on your TikTok business center. Uh, then upload products to your catalog and then upload or generate videos for the products in your catalog. In the third step, uh, you, you can also use Shaker created videos for, for uploading. And that's what Paul will share later. Uh, number four, integrate events between your catalog and measurement partner or TikTok pixel. And um, when you've done those four, you're ready to publish a campaign using the products in your catalog. So now I'll go through how to set up a uh, campaign through your ads manager. Uh, so this is the ads manager home screen. You can see that I'm on the campaign tab. And what you want to do here is just to click on the big red create button to get started. And I'll go through each step of the process, but I'll only focus on the most important settings at each level of the setup. Uh, so here, as you start setting up your campaign, you will see that there are three different uh, levels you need to complete. So look at the left-hand side here. You have a campaign, ad group, and ad. And when you're in the, in the campaign level here, you have to select product sales uh, in order to set up a video shopping ad campaign. And once you've done that, you're at the ad group level. Uh, you have to choose the shopping ads type. So for most advertisers, you'll only have this one option. Uh, and then you have to select your product source details, which is your catalog. I've hidden this because uh, I don't want to show the, the name of the account. Uh, but essentially, if you have multiple catalogs, you, you can select which one to use. And then the next important setting here is to select uh, optimization location, which will be your website or app. In this case, I've selected app. Uh, and then uh, the next thing is to select your audience targeting. I'll talk a bit more about audience targeting later when I talk about the performance lever for video shopping ads. Uh, and the last thing you need to do at the ad group level is to set your budget, schedule, and then bidding and optimization. Uh, so budget, schedule, bidding, and optimization. And uh, the next thing, ad level, here you have to select your product details. So which product sets that you want to use. Uh, and I'll talk a bit more about product sets when I talk about performance levers later on. Uh, also at the ad format here, this is a very, very important step. You can see you could either choose a single video or catalog video, but you really want to deliver a unique video to everyone that watches your ad. Uh, so you really want to make sure that you select catalog video and that's where you'll be able to uh, use the videos that we, you generate through the Shaker platform that Paul will show later. And the last few things you need to do before you can publish your campaign is just to select your destination page. Uh, you can use a deferred deep link. So if you want to link to the product page, which we recommend you do that here, you select your call to action, and then you can just make sure that you have the right tracking set up. Uh, and when, when you've done that, you're ready to publish the campaign. So now that you know how to set up a shopping ads campaign, let's look at the few levers you can use in order to improve your campaign performance. Uh, so here, of course, you're running catalog ads, so they are powered by your product catalog. Uh, but in order to make sure that your catalog work as hard for you as possible, you have three performance levers to pull, which is product set, targeting, and creative. So the first one, let's look at product set. And I already touched upon this during the campaign setup walkthrough, but now I'll dig a bit deeper. Uh, so a product set is essentially a set of products which share similar char characteristics. Uh, so sometimes you want to get you you want to focus on a smaller part of your catalog instead of advertising the whole catalog at once. Uh, and in some cases, uh, that's a much better way to get good performance uh, and something you should definitely try uh, out yourself. And in order to create a product set on TikTok, you will need to go to your catalog manager. 
Uh, so this is inside of the catalog manager under assets. And when you're in here, you select product sets here on the, on the left-hand side. And in order to find the right products uh, that share the similar characteristics, you can use uh, filter rules. And there are many characteristics you can use to make product sets. In this case, you can see that I selected uh, the filter product type. Uh, and the product type here is personal care, cosmetics, skincare. And we have 60 products that match that uh, criteria. Uh, another one is, is price. So in this example, price is greater than $50. 12 products match that criteria. Uh, and the third example, a brand. So here you see the brand is any of the following Peri Para and 22 products uh, have the Peri Para brand. Uh, so in this case, I've created three different product sets, uh, skincare, price over 50, brand Peri Para. Uh, but you can also make custom combinations of these to, to make sure that you have as tight of a product set as possible uh, to target to a specific group of people. And when you have your product sets available, uh, you will be able to leverage them in your video shopping ads by selecting the product set at the ad level of your product sales campaign. Uh, so here you see products, uh, product sets, and then you can select any specific product set that you've previously created. And down here again, select your catalog video. Uh, so you see, uh, setting up uh, product sets is pretty straightforward, uh, but when done right, it can be an extremely powerful performance lever. Uh, so I'm going to take a small stop here. Uh, Paul, do you have any comments uh, or questions for me? Uh, no, at this point, I think everything's pretty uh, clear here, depending on uh, which audience you want to target. And I'll get into the creative portion, depending on what type of creative you want to create. We can actually tailor, or you can actually tailor your product sets uh, to the type of video you want to show to your audience. Yeah, definitely. So this all ties very well together, the product sets and the targeting and the, and the creative. So we'll get more into that later. Uh, yeah, then the next uh, lever, uh, targeting. Uh, so you have two primary targeting options, which is retargeting and finding pr prospective customers. Uh, if you choose to retarget, you see you can select uh, people that have viewed or added to cart but not purchased in the last X number of days. Uh, you can have added to cart but not purchased or a custom combination of the two. Uh, and if you're looking for prospective customers, you can uh, set up with custom audiences, uh, lookalikes. Uh, you can layer in demographic targeting like location, gender, age, and language. Uh, and there's a lot of interest and behavior targeting that you can use. So general interest, purchase intent. In this case, there, there's purchase intent, skincare. Uh, so that would be really good with, uh, with the product sets that I previously set up, skincare products. Uh, but you also have uh, behaviors like video interactions, creator interactions, hashtag interactions. So you can be pretty creative when it comes to the, the targeting. Uh, so test and learn what works well for your brand. And uh, now over to the last and by far the most important lever, which is your product or your catalog creative. Uh, and it's so important that we like we set up a separate dedicated uh, section for that, uh, which is how to transform your catalog with Shaker. And Paul will take it from here. He, he will cover, how, cover TikTok creative best practices and Shaker catalog enrichment. So yeah, Paul, take it away. Thanks, Miguel. So uh, working on customer success, I'm usually... Uh, working uh, with clients directly. And when we're working with brands and agencies, the goal for us here at Shaker is to transform your catalog into a VSA catalog. And what that means is instead of going through the catalog manager to add videos into your catalog, we inject them directly into the source feed. And because of our proprietary render technology, we can create a unique video for your whole catalog, whether that's 50 products or 50 million products. But before I go too deep into that, let's start by going over some creative best practices from TikTok. You've probably heard it before, and I'll say it here again. Don't make ads, make TikToks. This might be confusing for some, but really all this means is to be creative and to be genuine. In the past, a marketer might take an ad that they made for Meta and use it on many other channels, possibly all their other channels. And 
uh, for a time that did work. But the expectations that the TikTok audience has is unique in that ad content that is overproduced. I'm talking about something that is clearly just a TVC ad cut into a vertical aspect ratio. It just won't work on TikTok. TikTok is a place to be creative and an opportunity for your brand or agency to make a more genuine connection with your audience. Um, on this uh, next slide, 56% of a brand sales lift from digital advertising can be attributed to the quality of, of the creative. This makes creative the most impactful lever you can pull in order to increase performance. The algorithm is already good. It just wants you to give it some quality creative. And with that, let's get into a couple creative examples. So starting with this interactive split ad we did for Sephora, a multinational beauty and cosmetic retailer. We can start by just watching the video and then I'll get into it a little bit. Using split screen is a great way to show both catalog based data, that is product image, title, price, sale price, pretty much anything that's available in your catalog and show creator type content that your audience is used uh, is used to seeing on TikTok simultaneously. But again, the saying goes, don't just make ads, make TikToks. So we took it a step further here by designing some interaction between the two halves, by designing a box falling through both the motion graphic top third into a real Sephora box that the creator picks up. And there's 101 ways you can fuse split screen content and it doesn't even have to be motion graphics and a creator. I've seen examples of creator with creator split screen videos that interact together. But the point is that extra effort that you add is meant to delight your audience. And in return, you'll get more attention and more conversions. Perfect. I think we can watch it one more time. Uh, and one thing that you don't see here, like we turned off the music, but music also plays a big role on TikTok ads. Uh, so, so normally this would have some pretty catchy music uh, uh, playing along with it. So always add uh, music to the videos. Yeah, absolutely. TikTok is a sound on platform. Uh, audio is half of the experience. Um, and, you know, on that note, the music matching up with what you see on the screen, that is, uh, I believe for this specific example, there is like a sound effect for when that box falls into the bag and all those small details is just another we're giving visual and audio cues to the audience uh, to take an action which in this case would be uh, to download their app and uh, you know purchase uh, this you know dynamically shown product definitely so let's yeah the next one yeah moving on we have an animated video from jd central Maybe something you didn't expect, but depending on your brand, creator content just might not fit with your brand. Uh, we have to remember on TikTok, there is a premium put on being genuine. Uh, JD had a really strong branding guideline with this red color. They had a mascot, which they used uh, ubiquitously in their marketing. So this was a perfect opportunity to bring him to life and showcase what the brand was all about. Uh, and we can take a look at that video. And the layout of the video is pretty similar to creator-based ads that we create. We have the creator, or in this case, this character as the focus. And our background is almost like our canvas to, again, paint on catalog-based data we want to show to the user. That is product image, the title, the price. Um, with using Shaker, we can pretty much pull or we can pull anything from your catalog and show it as a variable inside of this video. Yeah, um, I think it's really cool and just emphasize again, like if you don't have creative footage, uh, the motion graphics can be really good as well. Uh, like bringing this this little guy to life is, is pretty cool and it's very on brand. Uh, and it is an engaging video, although there's no real life people in this one. For sure. And for some brands, if it works uh, with what is inside of their brand guidelines, 
it can actually stand out more than the typical the typical creator type you know content video ad that you so very often are just flooded with on TikTok. Yeah, for sure. That definitely. So animated is going against the grain a little bit in that aspect, but uh, it is something that we've seen actually does perform pretty well on TikTok. Cool. So, uh, um, yeah. sorry, go ahead. Yeah, no, no, like, uh, yeah, uh, Shaker Catalog Enrichment, con continue. Yeah, lastly, uh, let's go over how Shaker can help you transform your catalog into a VSA catalog. Now, uh, this could honestly be its own separate webinar. Uh, if you're a brand or agency looking to run VSA campaigns, please feel free to reach out to me or Mikkel for more information. This will just be a high-level overview of the process. But to get started, we'll need a live HTTP or FTP link to your catalog. We can also work with a CSV, but something live and dynamic is preferred. Then we'll work with you from Creative Brief to final video design to create a template and the data we find available in your catalog and how that data is organized will affect the design choices that we make for the template. Both are then put together and put through our proprietary video renderer and the export will be your catalog with a new column of video links ready for a VSA campaign. And I guess at a high level, it really is that simple. Using Shaker, you'll be able to run VSA campaigns with a higher and more accurate level of creativity uh, to more accurately present your brand guidelines to your customers. Perfect. Perfect. I, I think, like as you said, we, we could have a separate separate webinar just on this slide. Um, but but yeah, if anyone wants to uh, connect with us to to learn more about how we do this, uh, we're always open to talk. Uh, so reach out to me and Paul uh, after the webinar if uh, if you have any questions. Anything else on, on this slide that you wanted to mention before we move uh, to the next one? Uh, no, I think uh, that's all for me. Perfect. Thank you, Paul. That's really good. And that's actually all, all, everything for the webinar today. Uh, it's a sh short and sweet webinar, very, very practical. Uh, so I hope you will uh, take what you've learned, uh, go into your ad account and start testing. And please reach out to me and or Paul if you want to learn how you can uh, uh, use Shaker to take your video shopping ads to the next level. Uh, so that's all it's for all for today. Uh, thank you so much for listening. Uh, and hope to see you on our upcoming webinars. Thank you. Thanks, everybody.